Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 314 of the show with no name. I'm your humble host, Nick, and in today's episode, we're going to be visiting the Zion Hill Church and Cemetery of Rockland, out here in Rockland, Washington, which I assume isn't even a town. It's almost an unincorporated community because so few people are really around here anymore. I really like the church cemetery episodes because it kind of gives you a glimpse into the past. A lot of these old forgotten farmer cemeteries that I go to out here in eastern Washington They used to have churches nearby, just like this. This is a perfect example of how things used to be back in the day. You would have a cemetery and then a church nearby or down the street. But over the years, just like the farmhouses, many of the churches got deteriorated and destroyed. And I think they removed the churches quite a bit faster than the farmhouses just because they're churches. So that's why you don't see a bunch of abandoned old churches out here like you would think that you would. I have a few other church cemetery episodes on my channel. I'm thinking about Mount Hope Cemetery and Church and the Sherman Cemetery and Church in particular. And the more I come out here and look at some of these really nice old churches that the farmers have done a pretty good job of upkeeping, I would like to get into these churches one of these days and show you guys what it looks like inside because I bet you they're really nice and they still have a lot of that old rustic charm that many churches that are built today are missing. The Zion Methodist Church of Rockland, which this church is named, was founded, I believe, sometime in the year 1884, or at least blueprints were being drawn up, and there was an idea of a church being here in 1884. I'm not 100% correct on that. But as you can see, it's still a beautiful old rustic church that they have kept pretty well maintained and it's built up here on this nice hill surrounded by wheat fields they really picked a good place to put this church but without further ado i would like to shift your attention now to the zion hill cemetery of rockland i'm not sure what year it was formed but i would assume that they set the cemetery up probably around the same time that they built the church in the late 1880s, maybe the early 1890s. But I'm going to start this episode off talking about the Birch family, specifically Irving Clement Birch. And he was born on November 1st, 1902. And he would pass away at the young age of 12 on November 25th, 1914, in Rockland, Washington. He was accidentally killed by being run over with a disc harrow. Mr. Bursch had planned for an older son to do the disking, but he felt inclined to devote the day to the care of a dozen colts, which he was breaking, and Irving, his 12-year-old son, a willing little lad, volunteered to drive the team and do the disking. This he was allowed to do, as he was quite proficient in handling horses. When night came and he did not come in to supper, his brothers and sisters instituted a search for him, and he was finally found lying in the rear of the disc harrow, the team standing and hitched to it. Examination showed that he had been thrown in some way from the seat and the disc arrow had passed over his body. Life was almost extinct when he was found and he never regained consciousness. He was bruised considerably across the back 
and would pass away shortly after he was found. This is an old photo of the Birch family. And Irving is buried here with his mother, Mina, and his father, Herman. And Mina and Herman were early settlers to the Rockland area here. Joseph Clark was born on November 25th, 1936 in Alabama. And he would pass away in the Vietnam War on December 26th, 1967. He was just 31 years old at the time of his passing. The Hoffman family was also a very prominent family out here in the Rockland area. Elmer Hoffman was born in Washington State on July 3rd, 1905. And he would pass away at the young age of 10 on August 11th, 1915, out here in Spokane County. While riding horseback in search of the cows, in the neighborhood near his father's home, some 13 or 14 miles northwest of Harrington, he was seriously injured internally when his horse stumbled and threw him into a pile of rocks. The impact would later be the cause of his death. Then there's Ludwig Hoffman. And he was born in Germany sometime in the year 1840, although I'm not sure of the exact date. And he would get married and end up fathering 12 children. And he immigrated to America, and about nine of the kids out of the 12 made it with him to Washington State. He would ultimately die from an attack of typhoid, in July of 1906, he was around 65 or 66 years old at the time of his death, and he was known as a very thrifty and industrious farmer in the area here, and he did quite well. I found another interesting person buried here too, and his name was Edwin Deppner, and he was born on September 21st. 1895 in Russia, and he would live to be 103 years old, passing away on December 19, 1998. He was a World War I veteran and a 96-year resident of the Rockland area. I always find it fascinating when I find people that live to be over 100 years, because it seems like such a tough feat now to accomplish something like that must take a lot of luck and a lot of hard work. And last but not least, I want to talk about Carl Wagner. Carl Wagner was born on July 13th, 1889 in Poland. And he would live to the age of 48, passing away on March 4th, 1938 in Spokane County. He had been in poor health for a couple of years and his ailments were believed to have been the result of spotted fever, with which he was stricken. I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos of this awesome old cemetery out here in the middle of nowhere that goes by the name of the Zion Hill Cemetery of Rockland. I'll see you guys.